Yo, what's going on, guys? Hope everybody's having a good day. Welcome to the goddamn show. And today's show is more of an update. You know, instead of just showing you regular gameplay like we normally do, I thought it would be important to talk about the state of Titanfall 2 in our community because today's kind of a big day. It's Titanfall Day. And I know some people are waking up and seeing this title and they're like, what the hell is this man talking about? Titanfall Day. This game's almost five years old, Iniquity. Listen, it's a big thing going on right now. It's important. And I think it's my job to let people know who have no idea what's actually happening to let you know what's going on. So right now, as I speak, most important, Titanfall 2 is free to play on Steam PC up until Monday, right before the launch of Apex Season uh, 9, which is called Legacy. It's free to play, dude. Tell your friends. Right now, there's, as I speak to you, there's 29,000 players playing Titanfall 2. That is definitely the record that Steam has set, at least. I think the most we ever saw on PC altogether. This is with Steam and Origin together. I believe the most we've ever seen was like 19,000. Correct me if I'm wrong, but regardless, right now there's 29,000, almost 30K, and I think it's gonna go higher and higher and higher. It's free to play. Anyone that wants to try out Titanfall 2 right now, up until Monday, can play it. You know, tell your friends, tell your parents, tell people that you hate. I don't care. Just let people know that this game is free to play because I'm so excited about it. Now, we've had some people question the the hype around all of this like bro we've seen video games and developers have free to play weekends numerous times Derek why is everybody going crazy over this just because it's timeful too we're acting like it's something some big deal yeah um it's not just the fact that respawn made this game free to play it's everything that happened over the last month or two like just a sequence of events and ending with this kind of made this very special so I thought I would explain that to some of you guys let's take it way back um, like 30 days ago, it wasn't that long ago. <laughs> I remember it like it was yesterday, trust me. So maybe within two or three days, like nine or 10 Titanfall creators, I'm talking streamers, YouTubers, we all streamed on twitch.tv and a bunch of us got DDoS. We're calling it DDoS because it's just easier to explain that way, but we've been targeted. We've been attacked by who knows? I don't know. A team of people, one person, I don't really care about this person at all. I don't want to give them any like recognition. So I, I, I don't want to say any names or anything, but we were targeted. We were DDoSed. Our servers were crashed. Not, not, um, not personal attacks, right? They, they didn't have our IPs and, you know, destroy our internet connection or anything like that. They were able to get into our servers somehow that we were playing on because we were live. It was easy to see our usernames, who we were playing against, and they were able to crash those servers over and over again. If you guys don't frequent twitch.tv or live streams at all, then that's why I want to explain this because you're all this time, you're probably like, what the hell are you guys talking about? What's going on? But some of you know, some of you guys are avid viewers and we appreciate you. I appreciate you very much. And you know what's been happening. And that's one of the reasons that I just couldn't stream anymore because it wasn't safe. I didn't want to subject myself or you guys or the players in my games to this crap. You know, like it was the most stressful thing, not only for me, for many creators. And I give a lot of credit and a lot of respect to creators who still streamed every single day and they fought through all that crap and DDoS and whatever you guys want to call it. It was terrible. Probably the most annoying, depressive state I've been in as a concert creator because I feel like I couldn't do what I needed to do. I couldn't, I had no control over the situation. And I don't just do this for a hobby. Some of us live off of this. Literally, this is some of our jobs, you know? So like one person or a team of people are literally stopping me from supporting my family. So it goes deeper than me just not being able to play the video game. It was a lot harder than you realize, but things change. And you know what? We're done talking about all that negativity because a lot of things turned around. This didn't happen immediately. Um, after a few weeks, Respawn actually tweeted, we are, we're aware of the situation, we're aware of the servers getting DDoSed or crashed, again, whatever you wanna call it, I don't really know what term we're using at this point. We're aware of it and we're looking into it. It was that simple of a tweet that Respawn said, and it gave our community a massive W. We just had faith again, and we had no idea what Respawn's doing behind the scenes, for all we know, they weren't doing anything. They were just drinking coffee and practicing for Apex Arena. <laughs> I don't know. I'm kidding. But you know what I mean? Like, it just gave us some faith. And from, th from then on, things really started looking up. Now, maybe I shouldn't have said that because a few days later, people are still getting hit, still getting DDoS left and right. I'm still over here like, I want to play Titanfall, but I can't play Titanfall. I was, I'm, I'm losing it. <laughs> this is why I wasn't around for so long. These are, these are the things going on. And this beautiful genius of a community member. I don't know if anyone knows him, but you need to know him now. Taskinoz. Print that name out. T-A-S-K-I-N-O-Z. Is that correct? Print it out. Put it on a piece of paper. 
put it on your wall like a poster or just hide it underneath your pillow like I do every night and appreciate and respect and salute that goddamn name. He is a modder. He was always helping out the Tinefall 2 speedrunning community for years. Awesome dude. And all of a sudden, he introduces himself to me and he's like, listen, I'm working on a quote unquote streamer mode mod. You guys have already seen this in my streams the last few days and it has saved this community <laughs> at least i think it has it has made my job so much easier and countless others because we get to stream again in peace i don't know how long this will last maybe it's 100 foolproof maybe it's not but right now i have been in a great mood because of taskanaz and this mod he's able to stop these ddos these uh these attacks from happening because we're incognito you guys have gone to my stream and you see no more usernames right you're like why does everything say unknown enemy pilot and things of the sort it's because of the mod. It's stopping anyone from knowing my name, other people's names, so I, my servers can't be targeted anymore. This is fantastic. It's it's allowed me to hang out with you guys again, to stream, to make content. We got videos on the way. Ideas are just starting to roll again. Things are are happening. We're we're back, baby. Right. So after that, which was already the only W I needed this year, honestly. After that. Or maybe I should say during all that, there was also a Steam sale going on for Timefall 2. Instead of $30, $35, whatever it was, it was down to 7 bucks, and we had 19,000 players. Now, this was people who were just interested in the Steam sale, who wanted to try out Timefall 2 finally. And you guys know this whole legacy thing, this Apex Season 9 thing is happening. There was a trailer talking about Northstar um, giving you more lore or connections with Viper or Valkyrie, Northstar things. Apex fans are now getting a, a bit more interested in Timefall 2. And I don't care why you're playing my favorite game. I'm just happy you're playing my favorite game. You know what I mean? So things are looking up. I get to finally stream again. Other sh other creators get to make content again. We're, we're happy again. People are interested in Timefall 2. They're getting ready for Apex and then somebody, I actually don't know this person's name, but I need to learn their name. Somebody had the idea on like TikTok or Reddit. They made a video saying, yo, we should all play Titanfall 2 on May 1st and just make a thing of it. So it was that simple of an idea. And it just got shared over and over again until like everyone was asking me about it. Derek, have you heard about this May 1st thing? I'm like, wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> I had to do research myself like, oh, May 1st. Everyone that has ever played Titanfall 2 will get together and play Titanfall 2. We will make a day of it. I don't know what we're calling it now. Titanfall Day, Pilot's Day, both sound great to me, but it is official holiday now. It is sanctioned by Respawn because they made the game free to play. They saw that we were getting all these people together. I guess they got excited. They're like, hey, you guys are going to play some Titanfall 2 on May 1st. By the way, that's today. Happy Titanfall Day. Happy Pilot's Day. We also want everyone to play our game. So they made it free to play. They made the announcement tweet yesterday. I woke up at like 3 p.m. like a degenerate and read that tweet. The first That was the first thing I saw when I opened my eyes, and I was so excited i still am so excited this is that this is why it's such a big deal it's not just any regular free-to-play weekend it's like the community coming together after all this nonsense and we got this w and then respawn helped it even more you know what i mean like it's just the, the, the sequence of things that happened ending like this is why it's such a big deal it's why we're all going crazy over it it's not just a bunch of people playing our favorite game it's it's a celebration dude like we we needed this it's a turnaround of events this one person is this team of people whatever they their plan was to destroy our morale to make things terrible for us and look how that backfired you mother you know what i mean like you piece of thank you for making our community stronger you you know <laughs> i'm in a fantastic mood and that's my story. It's uh, it feels good. It feels like we got a win out of all this, and now more people get to experience Timefall too. And you know, I, I'm not gonna expect like right now. There's 29,000 people playing, right? Of course, a month from now, I don't expect 20,000 people to keep playing this game. I, I realize numbers will go back to normal, but I, you know what? I say if 10 people fall in love with the game this weekend and continue to play it, and they become diehard fans like the rest of us. I say that's a win as well. I appreciate what Respawn has done. I know they're focusing on Apex, the new season, and I'm sure that'll be dope. I'm going to try out arenas myself. I get that. But they showed us some love this past month. They really did. And they didn't have to. I get that. They're not obligated to do any of what they did. But they did because they cared. You know, so if anyone from Respawn happens to come across this video... I know I also have some things to work on. I know some things, sometimes I get out of hand with my opinions and I'm very picky and stubborn. <laughs> you guys probably roll your eyes when you hear some of the things I say, but I need you to know that I'm very grateful for everything over the last, 
I don't know, 30 to 60 days. Thank you for creating this amazing game. Thank you for showing us some love again. That's that's honestly what mattered the most. Like we felt like we mattered again, you know, these these this community, this timefall community that will never die. We felt a W this last month. And I think that's why this is such a big deal to people. We've been playing this game for almost five years. It's not like it's free to play for us. Like we we already know how great this game is. We're just we feel important again we feel like we matter again and that's why this is incredible this is just a weird crazy insane turnaround of events and that's why i feel the way i feel so if you've been lost if you've been confused about anything that i've been talking about lately i hope this clears some things up let me know in the comments how you feel about it all let me get a goddamn w in the chat go tell your friends that timefall 2 is free to play go play yourself i don't know if i'll be able to stream later i'm getting my second dose of the vaccine so i might feel a little bit under the weather one would say i don't know just in case i want to give you a heads up i might not be able to stream as much as i want to it sucks that i'm getting the shot this weekend but i'm going to try my best to either make a video or stream again we'll see we'll see what happens i love you guys happy Tidefall day happy pilots day i'll see you out there peace